Hello everyone, it's Psychoims here. So this video is going to be a product review and you probably already know what I'm going to talk about. A lot of my fellow artists on YouTube, they did um, the same kind of review. I think the company uh, contacted a lot of us and asked for a free review or an honest review about the tools and the product they're making. So little disclaimer here, this is not sponsored. I wasn't paid to make this video. This is my personal honest opinion about it. Um, they reached out to me asking if I want to get free, like a bunch of free markers to test them out and hopefully make a giveaway. And I'm um, definitely going to give those away in my next 50,000 subscriber contest kind of thing. I don't really need those um, pro markers and brush markers. But I still agreed to do the review, the, the review and um, yeah, give them my feedback about them, how they look like, um, how they look like, how do they feel, the kind of, just a bit more information about the brand and, and like things like that. Um, the company, I think this is former like Letra set. I do have like the old, the old um, markers they used to do. So this is a Letra set. This is a Troya by Letra set and this is a very old, I got that. I have think I've got uh, my first alcohol markers that, you know, there were the trias and it was like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. They still work, by the way. And this is the old version that has a very fine tip and then there's a bullet tip right here and a chisel on that side. And so those are like the old markers and you can tell they're like basically the same design. It's because this um, is from the same brand, but the Pro Marker range was like, I guess, acquired by Winsor Newton. I'm not entirely sure about that, um, but yeah, something like that. I'm really not good at keeping track of who owns what. Just so you know, now they're like labeled as Winsor Newton brush markers and then Winsor Newton Pro Markers. There's two kinds, although the design is the same. Um, the difference is, of course, the brush marker has a brush tip and then the Pro Markers has a uh, bullet tip on that side. So that's for like a little background about the the company kind of thing. They also make uh, paper and I'm asked to um, try this out, although I'm really not too keen on layout paper, like especially if it's 20 pound, like this is very, very thin. Uh, like it feels like newspaper, very, very thin. I used to work with this, but I'm really more into like thick Bristol now. But I've seen Bailey J did a review for those markers and she really enjoyed how those specific markers looked like on their specific branded paper. Um, they may look different on other kinds of paper, but it seems like that if you get the same brand and you use the paper that were made for it, it's more saturated or just overall looks better. I have no idea. I'm going to try them out. I'm going to do an actual review about how I feel about them after you see me like sketching and drawing something. But um, at first they sent me uh, the set of like six brush markers as it says on the package and I also had like a thicker box I don't have the case anymore for those pro markers but um yeah so I also have pro markers and I think there's like 13 of them so yeah so I got that and then I wanted to make an artwork with those but I realized that I didn't have any skin tone besides this very pale um mastic color which I think is a bit of a grayish skin tone so I've contacted a company just asked to if it was possible to get just a couple of skin tones uh, brush markers because I intend to give away everything so if you don't have skin tones it's kind of like yeah I guess it's it's a bit sad <laughs> so I wasn't expecting to get an actual set of brush markers skin tone but um, yeah the company sent me those so thank you Alice if you're watching this uh, for like so just like giving me so many things and um, so um, to test out and then I'll just make someone happy someone that's following me on this channel because like I don't I don't I don't need those I I I will be happy to give them away whenever I have a new giveaway but uh, yeah so the second package I got was the skin tone set and then this giant pad of mark of marker paper high quality bleed proof bleed proof marker paper this is the official one for Winston and Newton pro markers and basically this is like very thin uh, marker paper 
like I said, I usually don't work with that paper, but I really want to see how it reacts with this specific brand. And so the packaging is quite nice, although I feel like sometimes there's just too much plastic. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of cardboard boxes because it's easier to recycle, but um, yeah, let's not knock about eco-friendly stuff here. Um, so I'm gonna open this. I already opened it and I put them back just so you can see how it looks. Um, so we have the name, the brand, everything. This is a six pack and it's definitely a chisel nib and a brush nib. And the ink in those markers are alcohol based so the ink is kind of like translucent and you can lay colors on top of each other and the alcohol inside is going to evaporate so yeah this is the type of marker this is certain kind of markers they're water based marker and they're alcohol based marker so this is a alcohol based marker it's a twin tip and those are not refillable and I don't know exactly how many colors there's in this range. I just had an annotation somewhere. I think it's a pretty good range. Uh, when I first got them, uh, first of all, they reminded me, of course, of my old letter set triads because they're basically the same design, the same caps, exactly. Well, <laughs> most of it <laughs> is the same. And um, yeah, so the design itself, I know some people, some of the reviews I, I saw, they... Um, um, the artist said that um, it felt like good quality. Overall, yes, uh, although it's still a sticker. I'm, I kind of feel, I, to me, they look kind of cheap. I don't want to sound like they are cheap, and I believe they are actually good quality, but they look not as, like, professional. It, it's still a sticker, you know? It's, I wish there was, like, some sort of barrel, like printed kind of design because the graphite marker that I have right here they're also quite cheap they're actually cheaper than this one and um but this is printed it's like old black and I I kind of feel like they just look a bit more professional but that doesn't mean the the marker itself inside isn't as good quality it's just the design itself that's one of the downside but I don't think it really matters that much but it might peel off I don't know uh, my trials are quite old and it's also a sticker and it never really like scratched or fell or anything. It was It's still pretty sticky, so it's not a big deal. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, although it's pretty nice to have like the color and uh, the brand name and, and like everything. But besides that, it's okay. Uh, in terms of like handling them, it's pretty much exactly like a Copic. Although it's a little bit thicker, but it's not as thick as a graphite marker, so I prefer this kind of feeling. Although I'm a big fan of the Chao, which is tiny, tiny bit smaller. So if you're familiar with like smaller tools like pencils, it might be a little bit harder at first. But if you haven't tried any markers before, you probably will like them. Um, so the caps. Now, there's one thing that I want to talk about is how hard it is to open. Now, it depends. Maybe some people will find that I'm picky, but I personally had a hard time opening this side because it's very slippery. This is br a brand new marker, so I was like, maybe it's just because they're brand new. But like I said, I have a triad right here and it's exactly the same kind of cap. It's a tiny bit looser uh, now that they are quite old. This doesn't rotate at all. This is really sticky. This is very, um, it's, it's, I can turn it. So I believe that the security of that cap might degrade over time, but it's not exactly the same caps. So I don't want to talk about it that in a, in a bad way, but um, it seems like this version is more secure because I really have to pull hard to pop this out. Uh, it's this little um, dent plastic part right here on the on the side. This is supposed to prevent rolling for on your desk, but although if you push too hard, they're still going to roll, so... But the, I guess they're just a little bit less like prone to rolling, but it, it's, it's not very convenient, although the grip is okay. It depends. Some markers had to... It was really slippery, so I kind of have to pull hard. Not a fan of those, um, but that's just my own personal, like, habit. I just don't really like this type of caps. Although it's quite convenient to know exactly where the brush side is, because this is, a f like, a pointy cap, so you know this is a brush side. 
I guess there is a downside to and a good side to everything. But besides that, uh, the nib is quite the the broad tip is okay. No, nothing really bad into like this. Um, so another thing that I noticed is some of the brush tend to be uh, a lot longer. I exact I don't exactly remember which one it was, but um, yeah. I can I can show. I think this is like those ones. So I don't know if you can really tell. There's a slight difference if I can just get the proper angle. On this um, light light flesh color, the brush is a little bit more, I guess, pulled, not pulled, pushed inside. And this one and um, seems a little bit longer. And I can't push them back. I don't know if it's made like that. If it's not pushed enough or. I have no idea. It doesn't really change anything in terms of like how you would color with it. And I guess, yeah, this is definitely softer. This, the, if it's longer like that and it's not completely pushed in, I feel like it's too soft. Although even the shorter version is definitely softer. Like, I believe this is bending on half of it at least. Is it a bad thing? No. Um, I guess it just, in terms of control, it might be closer closer to using an actual like paintbrush or like those Pentel aqua brush. And I guess it's just not as sturdy as a Cupic brush, but it's not a bad thing. It's not as soft. I have another brand that I don't like the uh, nail pico that I have right here and those are super super soft and almost too soft like when you like the, the nibs get stays bented bent if you can tell that it's like I really love the colors but the brush is just so like easy to deformed that you really can't control it um, the Pro Marker brush is definitely soft, but it's, it's coming back to its own shape, like its natural shape, so I guess it's okay. But um, yeah, so that's it for like, like little things about the actual markers. Like I said, I don't believe, I believe they are good quality overall, I need to really color with those. But um, I'm not a huge fan of the design, I feel like it's a little bit cheapy, and I believe... So I don't know exactly how much it is, depends on where you live, but I found them at my local art store yesterday and there are 2.99 euros. So um, it's it's definitely affordable compared to Copic markers and I can't find Copic markers in my art store. So I guess they're a little bit more convenient to find. And what I like the, about them is that the brush nib is pre-built, so I guess it's cool. Although I think the price I found was for actual pro markers, not brush markers. So I don't know exactly, but I think they are like a good alternative in terms of like access to it. Like I said, it's maybe easier to get them. And especially if you want to try this type of markers, you don't want to invest into Copic markers. There are other alternatives um, for Copic markers, but they don't have the brush tip. So I guess it's a pretty good, could? <laughs> I think it's a pretty good options, option for like a brush marker, but not as expensive as Copic markers. And I believe in terms of ink, um, I think it has maybe a tiny bit more than a show. So it, it might be nice to get like a pack, especially because they made like cool set, you know, like this. So you can just like grab a couple of set, try them out if you really like this type of markers. Once you run out, you may invest into like a different kind of brand. Um, if those were refillable, they would definitely be as good as Copic markers. Although, like I said, I'm, an, I'm not too fan of a very flexible kind of brush. I prefer the Copic. They are a tiny bit sturdier. But it's because I'm used to them. That doesn't mean those, those like, are bad. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, like, my little, uh, I guess, my just overall first impression about the markers in terms of brush markers. Now, for the Pro Marker, the difference with those is basically the nib. We don't have a brush nib here. We just have a bullet tip and then a chisel version here. And so, um, the colors are very vibrant. Okay, the design isn't my favorite thing, but the ink itself is very good. It rem it's, it's, um, reminds me a lot of the Copic like, type of ink. So, the smell is okay. 
And so um, I don't have anything more to say about the markers. They seem quite nice. Like I said, if I didn't have any other brands and those were available when I first started out, like I said, when I started out, I couldn't find any kind of brush markers. I only had the trias and those were really expensive. It was like five euros, 50 or something. And so if I discovered, um, if I was starting out like any kind of graphic design school or any kind of artsy school or project and I wanted to invest in like a set of 30 markers or something, I'll definitely grab the brush marker by Winston Newton because, um, yeah, I guess they're as affordable as the graphite markers that I found, but the graphite markers, they don't have a pre-built brush tip, you have to buy it. I definitely want to now make an artwork with those, I'm gonna test the paper, and I'll see you after to tell you like if I really like them or not. And so, yeah, I think that's it for now, I'll maybe talk to you whenever the artwork is finished, and now let's go with a little time-lapse. Um, the first thing I did before coloring was making my chart because I really wanted to see exactly what shades I could combine. So that's what I did basically for the brush markers and the pro markers. And then I tried to match them like, okay, I can use this skin color with this brown or with this purple. It's very important when you have a limited palette and if you're starting out with markers to really just lay down all your colors on a piece of paper to really be able to match them and see what shades go together because you have a limited palette so that's what I did basically and um, I didn't use all the colors but I used most of them basically so um, I sketched like a little girl nothing fancy then I inked everything and um, then I started shading. So I used the paper that they gave me. And to be quite honest with you, um, I had bad like experience with layout paper or like marker paper because of the way it reacts. This is a bleed proof marker paper. So the ink doesn't go through it, but that also means it's harder to blend and lay a bunch of different colors because the paper isn't gonna absorb the ink. So it's definitely like more of a rough, sketchy kind of paper for like quick projects or like if you do a lot of cell shading, anime kind of like shading kind of thing, that's a good paper. If you really like to build up the shading, I, I don't know how some people use this type of paper because it drived, it drove me crazy um, because I wasn't able to blend fully. I was like lay, I like to really had a bunch of different layers and then glaze with like a different tone and I cover it and it, it was blending and I, overall it's okay I guess it's like kind of like one of the good marker paper compared to like the Copic Bleed Proof the, the Copic Bleed Proof uh, marker paper is terrible this one was okay that's just the problem is the paper <laughs> it's nothing has nothing to do with the markers itself markers are really really great actually i enjoy working with them they did blend well even though the shape the colors are somehow different at first i noticed a lot of brush strokes and it was really hard but once it dries out and it kind of spreads into the paper it has a beautiful like velvety watercolor effect that i really like and the colors are very intense and yeah i gotta i kind of like them like the ink itself is very good um, I got used to the brush marker, although I still prefer the um, the Copic version because it's a little bit sturdier. Um, the brush marker for the Winston Newton markers, it's definitely a bit too soft for me, but it's still nice. So yeah, overall I had a good experience with those markers, so I think if you can get them, you should definitely give it a try. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this um, video. And as for the original of this, it's pretty basic, but I'm gonna keep it. And maybe just like I'll give it away whenever I give the markers to in like a future kind of contest thingy. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.